Good morning, Allentown. I hope you guys are enjoying the cold weather. Let's go talk to Jake and Christine about a place where it's a little bit warmer. During the first week of February, the senior class took a trip down to Disney. Here's what some of the seniors thought of the trip. Uh, my favorite park at Disney was definitely Universal. Uh, my favorite part of the trip was just hanging around all the parks with my friends, and my favorite ride was the Velocicoaster. My favorite park was Universal. Uh, my favorite part of the trip was going home. <laughs> my favorite ride was the Velocicoaster. So my favorite park was uh, Universal, and uh, my favorite part of the trip was like hanging out with my friends, having a good time. We're all together. It was it was great memories. And uh, my favorite ride was Rock and Roller Coaster. It was a great trip, and we were very grateful to have had the chance to go. Now have you heard of this kid, Ethan Bailey? He is exuberant. Back on to Ethan Bailey with Serena and Reagan. We had a chance to talk with freshman Ethan Bailey, who performed in the All Shore Jazz Band Competition playing trumpet. Here's what he had to say. I was seated as the third trumpet out of somewhere around 20 trumpets who auditioned. I first found out and I was exuberant. I mean, I wasn't expecting it. It was, it was crazy. Preparing for the audition, I practiced pretty much every day. It was a great experience and it was something I wouldn't trade. Now here's a preview of Allentown's rendition of Sweeney Todd, starring Andrew Ryman and Brianna St. Phillips, which premieres on February 24th. We had a chance to talk with Andrew Ryman, the lead in the upcoming musical Sweeney Todd, along with Alex Ricciardi, who was a part of the backstage crew, and Miss Wolf, who taught and directed the difficult music that played a crucial part to the musical. Now let's hear what they have to say. Hello, my name is Andrew Ryman. I am Sweeney Todd in Sweeney Todd, and the play is about a man who was sentenced to cry, who was sentenced to prison for a crime he didn't do, and he comes back to uh, get vengeance on the judge who sentenced him to life. Hi, I'm Alex Ricciardi, and um, I'm part of Backstage Crew. My favorite part is just being around the other people in the cast. It's, they're just really nice people. So Sweeney Todd is probably the most musically challenging show that we have ever done. This is a Stephen Sondheim production, and it is just absolutely insane. Anybody that appreciates music can understand that it just, a lot of it doesn't make sense. It is extremely challenging. The kids are doing amazing and wait till you hear the voices. You're going to think that you're at a professional show. Come see Sweeney Todd. It's February 24th, 25th, 26th, 7.30 PM. You guys better be there. So now let's talk about our hometown heroes and downtown sports with the crew. Hello Allentown and welcome to A-Town Sports News. Last Tuesday, the cheerleading team celebrated their senior night. Congrats, seniors. Last Monday, the girls varsity basketball team had an away game against Montgomery High School. Then last Tuesday, they played against Nottingham High School for their senior night, winning 59-35. Emily Pellegrino had 15 points and Brianna Schweitzer had 18 points. We had a chance to talk to Emily about her senior night performance. We're doing very good. We have a bond that most teams don't have, and we didn't lose any girls last season. So from last season, so it helps us a lot to keep that bond going. And just as the season progressed, we just kept growing as a team. Senior night was really good. Um, the girls put, did a great job putting together all the posters, and the locker room looked great. Um, I really couldn't have asked for a better night. The game went great. Um, both seniors, we did really good and it just couldn't have been better. So our next game is tomorrow versus Notre Dame and we're going to beat them. We beat them last year and this year it's their senior night in their own gym so we're ready to come out on top and play great as a collective team. 
The girls also had a game last Friday at Notre Dame. Then they played Lacey Township on Saturday. This week, the team played an away game against Hamilton West on Monday. This past Tuesday, the boys' basketball team went to Nottingham. Last Friday, they had a home game against Notre Dame. Today, the boys will travel to West Windsor, Plainsboro North. Last Wednesday, the hockey team played Notre Dame and won 4-2. Great job, guys. Also last Tuesday, the wrestling team had their senior night playing against Trenton Central. They lost 24-54, but congratulations to Serena Hanna, who won her first varsity match. We were also able to talk to her about her senior night and goals for the remainder of the season. I feel like they've been doing pretty well. A lot of kids have improved from day one. Um, a lot of the freshmen and first-time kids have improved a lot, and I'm very proud of them. It was pretty magical. A lot of my teammates were cheering me on on the side. I won my first varsity match. My coaches were proud of me, and a lot of people were there cheering me on, and it felt really good. My goals for the rest of the season is to improve on everything that I know, just work on myself, work on my moves, work on my technique, everything, and to help my team win so we can prosper in the end. Last Wednesday, the wrestling team went to Steinert for a doubleheader, and on Saturday, they went to Robbinsville for a match against Nottingham. The track team traveled to Lawrence last Sunday, and on this upcoming Saturday, the team is heading to Tom's River Bubble for state sectionals. Good luck to all the teams with their upcoming games, and good job to those who participated in the, in the MCTs, and good luck. Incredible. Just like this year's Super Bowl between the Los Angeles Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals. More on that with Natalie and Dom. This past Sunday, we all enjoyed watching the Super Bowl. We talked to some students before the game to get their predictions. Let's see what they had to say before we recap. I think the Bengals are going to win. Uh, I think the Bengals are going to win because Joe Burrows came too far to lose in the Super Bowl. Um, I don't really watch football, to be honest with you. Um, but I heard the Bengals were there, and I really messed with Joe Burrow. Uh, I think he's cold. He, he had a really good come up, and I, I want the Bengals to win. I think the Rams are going to win. Uh, I think the Rams are going to win 23-17 because I think Cooper Cup is not going to be able to he's, – he's, he's too good for the Bengals' defense. Now it's time to recap this past Super Bowl. The Los Angeles Rams defeated the Cincinnati Bengals with a final score of 23-20 after a very close game all four quarters. Cooper Cup secured the Super Bowl MVP after eight catches for 92 yards and two touchdowns, and one of them being the game-winning touchdown late in the fourth quarter. Joe Burrow had a rough game after tying the record for being the most sacked quarterback in Super Bowl history with seven. Although it was a rough game for both teams, it was a great game, and the Rams are Super Bowl 56 champions. Thank you for watching A-Town Live. I'm your host, Jake de Blasio, and I'll see you next week.